Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my recommendations for the Sephora VIB sale. The Sephora VIB sale is so exciting because I'm sure if you guys are makeup lovers and consumers of makeup and you shop for makeup often, you know that Sephora literally like never has any discounts, never has any sales. So when they do this VIB sale every year or twice a year, whatever it is, it's definitely time to stock up on your high-end favorites or any new high-end products that you might wanna try. So today I'm gonna to be telling you guys high-end products products that I've tried that I think are worth the money. So if you guys want to, again, shop these products, now is the time because the sale is here. It should be here by the time I am posting this video. So if you guys don't know how the VIB sale works, depending on how much money you spend at Sephora annually and what kind of card holder I guess you are. So whether you're just a beauty insider, a VIB, or a Rouge member, you can get anywhere from 10 to 20% off. Again, and it's based on how much you spend at Sephora annually. I believe to be a Rouge member, you have to spend a thousand dollars at Sephora yearly and then a VIB member which is what I am you have to spend three hundred and fifty dollars annually no matter what discount you get I definitely would say take advantage of it like I said if you guys have been shopping at Sephora for a while you know that they literally never give discounts so now is the time to shop so I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the high-end products that I think are worth the money as well as some products that are on my wish list that I will be picking up for the VIB sale so I really hope that you guys enjoy seeing this video and let's just go ahead and get started the first recommendation that I have for you guys are Tarte palettes. I know a lot of you probably are expecting me to mention Anastasia palettes, but I feel like I've been talking about them a lot on my channel. You guys know I love them and I always recommend them, but I figured it was time to switch it up and maybe recommend something that just, just a little bit different, but I still love. So these are the Tarte Tartlet palettes. So my favorite one is the Toasted, but the other one that I love a lot and I think is like the perfect bridal palette is the best way I could describe it is the In Bloom palette. I will insert close-ups of both of these palettes right here, but the Toasted is going to be a little bit more on the warm side. A little bit of those fiery tones, but not necessarily anything overpowering and scary. A really beautiful day-to-day -day palette with those warm tones, a mixture of matte, glitter satins everything like that and then like I said the tartlet in bloom is a perfect neutral bridal palette to me I really love this palette for day-to-day -day because it has a little bit of cool a little bit of warm but it's mostly just a perfect overall neutral palette and I really feel like a lot of people can get a lot of use out of the different shades in here not to mention you guys know I also really really love the Tarte formula it's just a little bit softer a little bit easier to work with I've said it a million times on my channel as much as I love Anastasia shadows, how pigmented they are can tend to be a little bit overwhelming, especially for maybe the average makeup wearer or the new makeup beginner. So I feel like Tarte palettes are a safe way to go. So if you guys are in the market to get a new palette for the VIB sale, I definitely would look into one of the Tartlet palettes. So the next product that I want to recommend to you guys is probably one of the most expensive things that I would ever mention here on my channel. Well, it's expensive for what it is, I guess I should say. And those are the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro Liquid Lip Lipsticks. These are so incredible. You guys know I am not into liquid lipsticks, but there is something about this formula that I am absolutely in love with. This is the lip product that I'm wearing on my lips right now. It is so moussey and silky and smooth, and it does transfer and fade throughout the day, but it kind of has like a little bit more of a lip stain effect. Granted, this product was sent to me by Influencer, so it was gifted for testing purposes, but after trying this out, I genuinely love this product. I do like the color. This is in the color. 500. I wouldn't say this is typically a color I would gravitate towards on my own. I probably would pick something a little bit more on the peachy nude side. This is very pretty if you guys are into like more pinky shades for spring, but regardless, the formula is incredible. And I totally think it's nuts to pay 38, almost $40 for a liquid lipstick, but I'm saying if you guys can get the discount on this, I really think it is worth it. If you are into lip products and you love liquid lipsticks, I definitely would recommend splurging on the Giorgio Armani, especially if you are rouge and you could get 20% off the price of this, I definitely would say it would make it a little bit more reasonable, but I know it's expensive, definitely more on the high end side for my channel, but I love it and I had to share it with you guys, especially so you could get the discount on it if you've been eyeing it. So sticking on the theme with lip products, the next one that I wanna talk about are Fenty Beauty's Gloss Bombs. I know I talk about these on my channel all the time, but these are truly worth the money. I feel like for being high end lip gloss, I feel like $18 isn't a terrible price point, definitely something 
I'm willing to pay full price for because I've never tried a lip gloss formula that is better than this. But again, with that discount, these are going to be super reasonable and I highly, highly recommend picking them up. If you guys are looking for a perfect, juicy, not super pigmented gloss, you could wear it on its own, you could wear it over a lip liner or as even like a lip topper. These are the perfect glosses. They last so long on the lip. I find that if I apply this in the morning, I don't really have to reapply it. Even after I eat and drink or whatever, there's still always a little bit of gloss left on my lips and I love them. My two favorite shades are the one with a little bit more color. I'm personally not the biggest fan of the Diamond Milk Gloss. I really didn't feel like it did much for me. I didn't love the flecks of glitter in it, so I ended up returning that one. But if you guys want like a little bit more of a warm, peachy, rosy tint to your lip, definitely go with the original Fenty Glow Gloss. And if you want something a little bit more pink, a little bit more of a true rose, then Fussy is the way to go. If you guys are already owners of the Fenty Gloss Bombs, I definitely think it would be time to stock up because if you are rouge, these would be 14 and change each, which is not bad for a high-end lip gloss at all, especially for what it is, literally, which is the best lip gloss ever. And then if you are a VIB, you will get them for 15 and change. So a really great discount there. Definitely, like I said, the VIB sale is time to stock up on your favorites. So switching gears a little bit on over to skincare, I wanna talk about one of my favorite face masks, and that is the Sephora brand, Gel Mask Hydrating and Quenching. My skin absolutely loves this face mask. It is the perfect mix of like hydrating and cooling, but it doesn't leave me feeling overly greasy. I've definitely talked about this face mask in a prior video, but when I feel like my skin just wants that extra drink of hydration, this is the mask that I go for because it is so lightweight on the skin, yet still very hydrating. Like I said, it doesn't make me greasy or anything. I feel like in the summer, this is very nice because it has that cooling feeling to it. And in the summer, when you don't wanna put on a lot of moisturizer because it feels heavy on a hot night or anything like that, or again, if you don't wanna put moisturizer on because you feel like you're gonna be too oily or too sweaty the next day, this is that perfect in between. It's cooling, it's lightweight, but still gives your skin that little drink that it needs. And I absolutely love this. Another mask from the Sephora brand that I really like is the Purifying and Mattifying Mud Mask, I believe it's called. I will pop a photo of it right here. I have gone through two containers of this mask and I have to say I do still like it, but I liked it a lot more when my skin was more oily and acne prone and I felt like my skin just really needed to be clean, like a hardcore mask. I don't know, not to the point where it would make my skin super sensitive or anything, but you guys know what I mean. Sometimes you feel like you just need a strong mask to really pull all the gunk out of your skin. That is what this mask did for me. I loved using it as a spot treatment and I really like to focus that on the center of my T-zone. This is a dupe for the Glam Glow Super Mud, so if you guys were looking into replacing your Glam Glow one or if you were looking for an alternative, definitely the Sephora one is a dupe and it's like less than half the price. The Milk Makeup Clear Brow Gel is another one of my favorites and it was one of the first things that popped into my mind when I was going through my collection and really thinking what high-end products are truly worth the money, what high-end products would I want to recommend to them during the sale. And this was the one that popped in my mind. This is the best brow gel that I've ever tried. I've definitely tried my fair share from high-end to low-end. I've tried Anastasia, Elf, I've tried Profusion, and this one is just that perfect in-between for me. From personal experience, I feel like the Anastasia one has a little bit too much of a strong hold. My eyebrows aren't really like out there and crazy and all over the place, and I feel like when I use the Anastasia brow gel, I can't like move my eyebrows. I probably look so dumb, but you guys know what I mean. It has that really tight feeling. And then when I use something low end like e.l.f. or Profusion, I felt like I was putting the gel in, but it wasn't doing much of anything. I feel like I finally found the best in between. Again, this is infused with CBD oil, so I feel like that's personal preference whether you guys like to use that in your products or not. I personally feel like I don't really mind if it's in like my skincare or in my makeup or anything like that. If anything, I feel like ever since I started using this, I have seen a little bit of growth thickness wise in my eyebrows. Again, I don't know if that's just kind of like in my head because I know that this has the CBD oil in it, but I really like it. It holds my brows in place. I feel like the CBD oil in there is really like conditioning my brows and I just overall love it. This is my first time filming in about a week and a half and I feel so out of breath right now from talking. I feel like I have to get used to filming all over again. <laughs> the absolute best concealer that I've ever tried is hands down the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer Super Coverage. This
this has literally the longest name ever. I just like to call it the Too Faced Born This Way, but I know there can be some confusion with the original Born This Way concealer, which is a little bit more thin and lightweight, I guess you could say. But this concealer is so good. This has quickly become, like I said, just the best concealer that I've ever tried. I do like this more than my Tarte Shape Tape. I get a lot of questions about that. If you guys want to see a comparison video, I will have it listed in a card right here for you guys. But I do like this more than my Tarte Shape Tape. I wear mine in the shade Vanilla. It's like a little bit too dark on me, but I usually just mix it with a little bit of my ColourPop concealer and fair and it turns into a good shade So once I run out of this I am going to be looking into a little bit of a lighter shade But shade aside the coverage on this the finish the lasting powder how beautiful it makes my under eyes look I really can't recommend a better concealer to you guys if you are a Tarte Shape Tape lover And you feel like nothing could beat it for you Definitely go ahead and try this if you like Shape Tape you definitely will like this and I feel like you might like this a little bit more and also if you guys are more on the dry skin side and you didn't like Tarte Shape Tape, I feel like you will like this because this, in my opinion, is a lot more glowy and hydrating underneath the eyes. Hands down, the best concealer ever. I totally can go on and on about this. The shade range is really great. Trust me when I say that I absolutely never thought that anything would be able to top my Tarte Shape Tape, but this 100% does like a thousand times over. I'm sure that you guys saw this one coming, but the Anastasia Brow Wiz is also a huge recommendation. I love this brow pencil. This is what I'm wearing in my brows today. I won't go on and on because I've been talking about this for years on my channel I know I mention it so often in so many different videos But if you are struggling with your brows or if you just want to try something new for your brows I definitely recommend the Anastasia brow pencil. I wear mine in the shade medium brown But I also really like the shade chocolate to mix in just to get a little bit more of a warm effect to my brow So again, I know I talk about this all the time, but for really great reason I truly do don't believe there is a brow pencil out there that is better than this. I know there are so many dupes out there, ColourPop, NYX, Maybelline, CoverGirl. Everyone has a micro tip brow pencil and I've tried a handful of them and I still always come back to my Anastasia one. So I'm telling you guys, snatch it up while the sale is on. The next recommendation is a hair product. I don't typically spend a lot of money on hair products. I'm not into high end hair products, but I received one in a BoxyCharm one month and I absolutely fell in love with it. So the next product that I want to recommend to you guys is the Brie Riogeo Don't Despair Repair Hair Mask Spray. It's like a leave-in conditioning mask. Oh my gosh, I, like I said, never thought that I would be willing to spend over $30 on a hair mask or a hair spray or literally anything for my hair. I know it's probably not the best, but I've always used like drugstore shampoo. Again, I know it's not great for your hair and I probably should be using like salon quality products. I would spend the money on this hair mask time and time again because I loved how it made my hair feel. I've tried a lot of different hair masks in the past and I feel like they were okay but I didn't really see a huge difference besides my hair just like being untangled easier this hair mask made the biggest physical difference in my hair I would use this hair product in my damp hair after the shower brush it out sleep on it and by the time I woke up in the morning my hair was so soft and silky and smooth but not only that it just looked visibly amazing it looked so soft it looked just so lively I just remembered I do have a clip on my Instagram Instagram story. I will pop it right here. I posted this one morning after just noticing how beautiful my hair looked. This was like the second or third time that I had used the hair mask and I was like, wow, this really, really works. So again, it is a little bit pricey, but it's so good and I'm definitely going to be snatching up another one during the sale. One of my favorite high-end products of all time are the Stila Glittering Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. I want these in literally like all of the shades because they are so easy. They are so foolproof and easy to use. If you guys have been craving working with glitter but you don't want the mess that comes along with it these are the best product ever they are so easy to apply mine is empty and dried out because I literally used all of it I was like scraping the sides every time I wear this in a video I get so many compliments you guys are always asking me what's on my eyes and if it's a glitter it's typically this and I need to restock on this so bad it is one of my favorite things to put on my eyes the shade that I have here is kitten karma but they also make bronze silver gold pink duo 
monochrome ones, more like warm shades, cool tone shades, literally like any color you could think of in the glitter and glow they most likely have. But definitely be careful when you're shopping because Stila also has, I think they're called shimmer and glow. And those are gonna be more of just like a smooth metallic. They're not gonna have any glitter in it and they definitely have a different effect on the eye. So definitely I would recommend these Stila glitters for sure. And the last product that I wanna recommend to you for the VIB sale are the Benefit Blush Bars. I'm not exactly sure if this particular one is still available. If it is, of course, I will have it linked down below. But every year Benefit, pretty much every year, I think Benefit comes out with these beautiful blush bars and Benefit cheek products are some of my favorites. I feel like they used to be more hyped up when I first got into the makeup community and I forgot about them and I recently got back into them and they're so good. They're literally probably like some of the best blushes that I've ever tried. So this is the one that I have right here. This was from, this I actually picked up in the VIB sale last year in April. And when you go ahead and open this up on the inside, this comes with the four blushes as well as Hula Bronzer. I did originally used to think that these were all full size products and I mean, it's a lot of product. It's definitely great value for what it is, especially if you get the discount during the sale. But looking at this now, Hula and Dandelion are going to be full size, which are between like seven and eight ounces of product. Is that right? No, seven or eight grams of product, I'm sorry. And then California Gold Rush and Rockator, which are these ones right here, are five grams of product. So a little less there, but I still think it's a really great value. It does come with a little brush, which I don't use, and I wish that they would just include a sixth powder in here because I feel like not a lot of people use that blush. But overall, a great palette, even if you can't get your hands on this one. I know they just released different palettes for different skin tones, one with a lighter bronzer, one with a little bit more of a deep warm bronzer. I know they came out with highlighters now that they have in some of their palettes or even if you don't want like a full size palette like this and you just want let's say one of the blushes you can pick up a box individually as well. I just think Benefit does cheek products so good and I think they are like a little bit underrated. I know Benefit is definitely a brand that I tend to put on the back burner here and there but definitely pick up a Benefit palette during this sale because they are really great. This is the blush that I'm wearing today. I'm kind of just wearing a combination of all of them. All right, so those are all the products that I wanted to recommend to you guys for this year's spring VIB sale at Sephora. Now I just want to get into a few products that are on my wish list and tell you guys what I think I'm going to be buying for the Sephora sale. I'm not like 100% sure that I'll be shopping this year because I am trying to be good and save my money, but these are the products that I hope to get if I do shop this sale. So of course, like the two I mentioned, I need a new Stila glitter, so definitely time for me to pick that up. And I also want to pick up my Brow Wiz in the shade Chocolate. So the next product on my wish list is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This looks absolutely incredible, and I've been really into complexion recently. I feel like I've mentioned this in a few videos, but I've been loving experimenting with primers and foundations and concealer. Right now I have on the new e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, and spoiler alert, because I'm probably going to be doing a video on it soon. I think it looks incredible, but I really want to try this new Milk Primer. It just looks so interesting. Milk makeup always has really great, interesting, and unique packaging. Really great, unique product, so this is definitely something I want to try. From what I've been hearing, it is hydrating, but also has like a tackiness to it, and I just want to try it really badly. You guys know I am all about Fenty. I love all of her releases. I actually forgot to mention her highlighter as part of my recommendation, so I recommend you guys pick up the Kilowatt Highlighting Duo. That just popped in my head. But one of the products that I would really love to try from her are her new bronzers. These look so delicious. I don't know why that's the word I think of when I see these. They look so warm and beautiful and like there really is one for every skin tone. I think I would probably pick the second or third one. I think it's called Shady Biz. I'm not exactly sure, but it will be on the screen right here. It just looks like it would be really great for my skin tone. I love Fenty products overall. A lot of her launches really excite me every single time, and I love a good bronzer. <laughs> so the last thing on my wish list is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set. You guys know I'm all about a good spray, finishing spray, setting spray, refresh spray. I love my Fix Plus, and this looks like it's essentially the same thing as Fix Plus. I don't necessarily know 
know that I absolutely need it because I already have like so many bottles of Fix Plus back there in my drawer, but I just love everything Anastasia releases. I truly feel that Anastasia has just become my favorite makeup brand. Everything they launch excites me and I feel like I would just want this because I love ABH. I'm a setting spray junkie, a finishing spray junkie, whatever you wanna call it, and it just looks so good. So maybe I will pick this one up, but again, I'm not sure because I've heard it is super similar to Fix Plus. All right, you guys, so that is going to complete this video. Those were all of my Sephora VIB sale recommendations, as well as the few products I have on my wish list. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you guys will be purchasing during the sale, or if you're not purchasing anything, let me know in general what your favorite high-end products are. Leave some other recommendations for everyone in the comments down below. But other than that, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave. I would love to have you guys here as part of my little YouTube fam. If you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos, click that notification bell down below and you'll get notified every single time that I upload a new video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and of course, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.